Hey everybody! <laughs> First, okay, I was I was planning on doing like this major blowout introduction and be all cute and fabulous because this is like the debut of Tampa Bay's new happy hour, the Horry Show. And like I'm like sweating. It's like dry like I just now put on my clothes. I don't even know what my hair looks like. I don't even know where my glasses are. So this is, anyway, so um, this is like a little run through. <laughs> it's Tampa Bay's new happy hour. It's the Jorge Show. Run the intro. I think, you see, on live television, things like this happen. <laughs> are they running the clip? <laughs> run the clip. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm glad this is happening because, see, it's not easy to put on a live television talk show. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't understand what's going on. All you see, I think you might see, like, all this, like, beautiful cityscape and all this wonderful stuff, or you're probably saying, what is Jorge doing on TV? He looks like a hot mess. Well, you're right, because it is a hot mess. Like, it's really hot in here. Anyways, there's cables. The cables are everywhere. The lights are all over the place. Uh, seriously, like, I, I, I started to put on my chapstick, and then it was, like, the wrong flavor. I like, my favorite flavor is grape, and I think what I have on is bubblegum, sparkly something, and I think that was my cousin's lip gloss that she probably left in my car, and I'm tasting it right now. But anyways, um, Tampa Bay's during happy hour. So basically what we're going to do is um, I'm going to tell you about all the fabulous things that are happening in our Bay Area. So, and it's your chance and your opportunity to participate and do that with us as well. We have a lot of things that are coming up on the show today. That we, there was so much to try to put into this very first show, but as you can see, just even getting together a website, getting together your Facebook accounts and inviting people and telling people all about it. I mean, it's crazy, and that's what you're experiencing right now. I also have, because it's the happy hour, so I wanted to have like this really cool, like, loungy kind of appeal and effect. So I have, like, this is, isn't this cool? My cute, like, little disco ball. <laughs> like, everybody in the studio, they're, like, laughing at me right now. This is a cute little disco ball, so we can be like, ooh, 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 ooh. right? And then, and then um, I have my other, because I like to be colorful, but like, ooh, 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 ooh. What? From a whole thing. So that could be like, you know, because it's happy hour. It's Tampa Bay's new happy hour. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and then this is, isn't, isn't this cute, right? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. And then I'll try to be cool, try to make it look real gangster like that. That's cute. Anyway, so, um, you're going to have the opportunity to actually call me later on in the show today, okay? And that number is 813-977-6800. <laughs> so make sure you tweet it to all your friends. I'm going to give you all of that information later. So um, watch this, and we'll be right back. phone down, but I, I'm trying to look at my hair. I don't even know what I look like. You know, it's crazy when you have all these people looking at you, and you don't even know what you look like. So I'd be like, oh, maybe I should wear this hat. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
<laughs> maybe I should. They're telling me, put on the hat. Put on the hat. Whatever. I can't even see. Anyways, so happy Friday, everyone. Are these lights driving you crazy? I thought they would be cute, like on my desk. Anyways, welcome to Tampa Bay's new happy hour right here on TBCN. Oh, okay, listen, if you're watching us right now on Bright House Cable, you are watching channel 949, okay? And if, if you miss it tonight, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. You're probably still at the gym, or maybe you're at a different happy hour. You're not at my happy hour. And uh, you can watch it tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., all right? So, Tampa Bay's new happy hour, the horror show, every Friday night at 7 and you can repeat every Saturday morning at 11 a.m., all right? So listen, uh, what I want to tell you um, is what I was saying earlier, okay? Um, basically, Tampa Bay's new happy hour, what, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the Bay Area, you know, the things that we love to do, the places that are, we like to go eat and hang out, and we are going to invite all of those people on to the show, all right? And there's different ways that you can actually get a hold of us, and you can get a hold of me. And what we've done is we've designed the, the website and the show to kind of have that happy hour kind of feel, so you'll recognize a lot of the lingo that we use. So if you go to www.thehorheshow.com, uh, Dot com. Okay, it's going to be like crazy. I mean, it's very loud. You know, it's kind of like obnoxious. But if you know me, then it's perfect. <laughs> Anyways, so if you go to the website, you can go to the lounge, and in the lounge, um, there's like the VIP area, there's a men's room, there's a ladies' room, all right, and there's also about the show. You can find out about the show uh, and what's coming up if you go to the T, all right, and in the T is going to tell you everything that we're going to talk about on the show or things that are coming up this week. So go to that website page, and you'll see everything, what's coming up, and also my my live Twitter feed is also there as well. And during the course of the show, I'm going to repeat some of the things that you guys are tweeting me because, again, all of you will have the opportunity, at least during the live broadcast, to actually call in and uh, voice any questions, comments, or concerns. Or if you want to say happy birthday to somebody, or if you want to throw some shade at somebody, that's cool too. And that number is 813-977-6800. Okay? So make sure you check out the website uh, because it's totally totally interactive. Now, keep in mind, there's, there are a lot of things that are still coming, and so we're going to reveal the different parts of the website, you know, as, you know, we continue to do more shows. So that way, every week you'll have something special and something new that you can take advantage of. Is that cool, or is that not cool? That's what I'm talking about. Does my hair really look not cute? Anyways, there's a lot of stuff that was going on uh, this weekend in the news and, of course, in the celebrity stratosphere. But this week on The Jorge Show, we have a very close friend of mine, a super-duper guy. His name is Robert Geller. Uh, he was the founder of Outings and Adventures, and he's going to come back and join us and uh, tell us a little bit about his most recent adventures. It's going to be, like, really cute. It's going to be really funny, okay? So we're going to find out all about that when we get back okay also later on in the show my bff indiana davis if you've been to my youtube page <laughs> my phone's like bleep, 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 bleep. oh girl look that's you oh that girl that's you on the tv oh my god that's you girl anyways uh my bff indiana davis you know she's a supreme court mediator so she's like a real serious chick you know to be dealing with okay but um, you know, she's also my girlfriend, so she's going to come back later on today. She actually took a trip uh, to International Mall and visited our friends over at Zen Bistro. And she's also going to kiki uh, with me later on today. Uh, and that's another thing. Kiki, like what's the tea, all of that stuff. You are going to learn, if you don't already know, all of this happy hour uh, lingo. So that way you're not lost, okay? So the things you need to do is remember to call into the show, okay, when we do our last call segment, okay? That's when you come in. So that's towards the end of the show at 813-977-6800, okay? Check out the website for all the latest updates, okay? All right, so when we get back, I'm going to have my special friend Robert Kelly here from Outings and Adventures. You're watching Tampa Bay's new happy hour, The Jorge Show. Yeah. 
Hey, welcome back to Tampa Bay's New Happy Hour. You're watching The Jorge Show right here on TBCN Breakhouse Channel number 949. And we're back on again tomorrow um, at 11. And I think I'm actually going to go back <laughs> and watch this again tomorrow and be like, what in the world? Like everything, you know, like you plan something and you're like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and this is going to happen. And then everything except for all that that you plan happens. And that's okay with us. Anyways, uh, I'm here with Robert Geller, super special guest. What's up? Great to be here. Hey, how are you? Excellent. Congratulations on your new show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know what? Were you throwing me shade earlier today? I saw like, it was on a Twitter or Facebook, something about, oh, uh, um, something about Rain's World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I didn't even see that. Actually, some a little birdie told me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Madonna was on Wayne's World. You're right. You're right. You know, and so I mean, she might be on this show. She could be a fan. <laughs> she could walk through that door right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, more about you. Okay, listen. I know you are involved in so many things. He is so involved in so many things. And most recently, you entered like this competition. Um, but you know, you're much more than that competition. And I thought, oh, what a cool dude. Like, he just does all the fun stuff. Okay, so I know you entered um, this competition for the travel guru, the gay travel guru, um, and you also are the founder of Outings and Adventures, okay? So before we get to the guru thing, let's talk about Outings and Adventures. Well, let's start with my, my title. My, <laughs> okay, my title is Chief Adventure Officer. And what does that mean? Oh, that means I get to have a lot of fun going on some great trips. <laughs> that means I'm going waterfall repelling, I'm stand-up paddleboarding, hiking. I'm in Peru, uh, hiking the Inca Trail. A pretty cool title. Yeah. And you like doing all that stuff. <laughs> as long as I'm, yeah, I'm the happiest when I'm acting. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so, but you were, you were the chief adventure officer. Yes. And founder of Outings and Adventures, and you have gone global. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that we have an audience all over the world, Ooh. and that also means that we do trips all over the world. Oh, wow. So actually, we have a trip coming from in March to Costa Rica, and I think it would be pretty cool to have the Jorge show go on the road. I'll go to Costa Rica, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not going to be climbing no mountains. <laughs> well, no, I, I can see you ziplining. Yeah. I'll be ziplining to the bar. <laughs> You'll see me doing that. Well, cool. Now, you started in Tampa. Yes. And so before going global, you did a lot of, I know I was always watching like your updates and you were doing this and then I kind of caught on. I'm like, oh, this is like a club or this is like an organization. And you were doing things like making sushi and uh, kayaking right. and stuff like that. It started out as a social alternative for the LGBT community. Okay. And we were doing theater events. We were glass blowing. We were hiking. You were blowing what? 
blowing glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Archi- it's happy hour. I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> Architectural tours and really great stuff. Oh, cool. Cooking classes, like you mentioned, yes. Okay, so then you're going from Bay Area and you're going all over the world. All over the world. That's so cool. Because, you know, we go back a, like, a couple minutes. Uh, we go back. <laughs> we go back way back before that break that we just had. <laughs> but anyways, so then from there, you entered this competition. Yes. Okay, and it's the Gay Travel Guru. Tell us about that. It was an incredible experience. There were over 2,000 contestants. At the end, of the end result, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, I ranked number seven out of over 2,000 contestants. 2,000 people, and you came in at number seven. seven. And not only wow. that, not only that, we beat up Miami, LA, guys from, from Chicago, um, our, and we had a phenomenal video. The, the last right. task I had to do was to shoot a video of my hometown. Oh. So in my video, it's my favorite things. Oh, that's cool. And, and have we, the, one, of the, one of the clips is my favorite thing is swimming with a mermaid. <laughs> that was <laughs> just an incredible experience. Going to Wiki Wachi, getting in the water, swimming with a mermaid, amazing. Now, OK, how did, <laughs> how did you get from, to, to, you swim with the mermaid? Yes, yes. That is cute. I, actually, I took. My mother to Wiki to Wikiwachi Springs State Park something. They're yes. really funny because you have to Very say particular. Their, yeah, you have to say their name right. And um, she was like not impressed with the mermaid. So I'm like, mom. I mean, my mom can't even swim, and she's like, you know, tripping on the on the mermaid underwater. I just thought it was funny. I thought it was so cute because I hear about you grow up, you know, like hearing about Wikiwachi and the mermaids and the mermaids, and like, oh my god, like it was like a little fantasy. I'm it's at the that. only place in the world where mermaids are swimming. Right. It's the only place. I mean, it's so amazing. And to be able to get in there, it was a lifetime experience. That's cool. Now, I know you did some other really fun yes. things, too. Like, I know you went to the Florida Aquarium, and you were um, got the, you got the kiki with the penguins. Backstage, exclusive pass <laughs> to play with Cliff the penguin. Oh, awesome. Cliff the penguin. They're so cute. Oh, adorable. I wanted to take them home. Awesome. And so uh, the thing is, I actually did see that video, and what I thought, was really cool was that you were able to actually uh, do like what we're trying to do here on this show sure. is to highlight, highlight the Tampa Bay area, you know, and all the great and fun things that you can do here. There's so many great things to do. And in my video, it, it, it's my favorite things. Oh, that's and so there cool. was a lot of great things. One that we didn't mention yet was dancing the Flamingo Dancers at the Columbia Restaurant. I saw that. Did you see the outfit? Yes, Did- I was like, <laughs> Where do you get that Prince-looking shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you were twirling. What I thought was funny, though, because I actually, I was privileged. I got to see some of the little outtakes and stuff like oh, that. Oh, no. You had, like, these big, black, clunky shoes. I did. And you were just, like, stomping. I was like, they're like were there, like, bugs there or well, something? Well, I was trying you to run like, the... Clank, clank, boom, boom, boom. The dance I'm step like, is 2-2-1, two, 2-2-1. Two, one, two, two, one. And I had to look at my feet while doing it. I was like, he was doing a Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like clogging. I thought... <laughs> Um, and what else that was really cool is that, um, and this could be, you guys can do this too, is that like you can say like you're doing all this stuff and then you can get in free to all these places and they'll feed you and give you all kinds of drinks and stuff. We were treated VIP. Me and my crew were treated very nicely. Oh, yes. cool. So then um, if there was anybody out there that you'd like to thank that were, you know, participated oh. in that video, um, who are those people? Well, first, or, or, or not people, but you know what organizations well, were on Tampa Bay organizations sure. helped you out. Right off the bat, Wiki Wachi, st- wait, Wiki Wachi Spring State Park. Yeah, you got to say it right. Woo! Welcome again. I got in, I got in trouble already. So they were just wonderful hosts. So let me jump in the pool like that. <laughs> Unheard of. The aquarium, the the uh, streetcar, the Tico streetcar system. Let us ride in the streetcar yeah. right up front. Uh, and then we also went some undercover. Not everyone gave us permission. Ooh, that's shady. Okay, there were two shady ones. Um, <laughs> the Tampa International Airport. Oh. Uh, they did not reply, so we just showed up and started filming. <laughs> and the other one was uh, the Don Cesar. Ooh. They wanted some big dollars, so we just showed up with an iPhone and started shooting. Th- they have enough dollars. I mean, gee whiz. We, I, I mean, if anything, like how many people, you said how many, how many people are in the, in the competition? Over 2,000. Over 2,000. Okay, so that's 2,000 people plus who knows what kind of following they have, right? Exactly. So, I mean, all those people who participated in this video about, like, your favorite things about the Tampa Bay area, do you know the kind of exposure that all of you just got? Because this man, and you were, you made it into the semifinals. All the way to the semifinals. You better get it. It was great. Plus beating on some of these other guys. There was one guy half my age. He was a cover model. <laughs> Kicked, a cover model. A cover model from Cindy kicked his butt. Uh, a cover model from where? Uh, I'm not going to name the magazine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't be naming no magazines unless it's my magazine. <laughs> oh, so you know what? And I'm, 
that just goes to show that sometimes it's not what you look like out here as much as we try to look our best. Well, we did show some skin. We showed as much, much skin as we could to maybe help get some votes if that would help. Oh, so he did show some skin. I was just, I was just trying to get the scoop. <laughs> All right, but listen, if you want to see more of Robert Geller's adventures, um, you can go to thehorryshow.com. E email us, info at thehorryshow.com. I will have all of Robert Geller's uh, information there. All right, well, thank you for stopping thank by, you. and good luck, and I'm sure we'll see you again, right? I hope so. Congratulations. All right. mm. Mm. Thank you. We'll see you next time. We'll be right back. And when we come back, we are um, going to have my friend Indiana stop by. And we'll do some kiki. And, uh, but she actually went to Zen Bistro and, um, and enjoyed it. So anyways, OK, they're screaming at me. What? Just tell me. Do you want to run the trailer? What trailer? Oh. oh my video? <laughs> Okay, listen at. There's like 20 different people telling me what to do. Okay, all I see is people pointing and like mouthing and sign language. This girl over here is flipping a magazine. She's on YouTube. You know, I'm like, um, so who am I supposed to? I, she's got her cell phone on. I thought this was a, I thought this was a horror show. I guess not. And all y'all just getting paid up. And, <clears throat> what, did I just say that? It's cable. I can say that. Run the trailer. Zen Bistro, you've got to, if you haven't been there, you have to go. But anyways, this is what she did. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> I know, I'm just like. Okay, which camera am I talking in? Okay, Will, you don't, this is his camera. That's your camera. This is okay. It's a Zen Bistro? Veronica Key, you're on. No, what is it? <laughs> so what are we doing today? Well, we're going to do a program today, and I'm so happy to have Jorge to accompany me on this program. He is a class act, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Jorge is the bomb, and he is going to do great things very soon. <laughs> Sooner than later. Watch out, world. Here he comes. <laughs> Well, look at that, I got your hair and makeup going, I love it. And she is ready for her close up. Hey, girl. Girl, you are sweating. Are I'm, you? I'm sweating. Oh, yes, ma'am. Girl, you try to do that. Well, you are doing it. <laughs> girl, I am so glad you're here and that I'm not here by myself. First, I need you to woosah. Oh, yeah. Yes, let it all go. Yeah, it's gone. Things didn't go exactly as you planned today. <laughs> it never does. Nothing ever does. <laughs> That's OK, though. It's, it's cute. <gasps> Did I tell you? I saw, seriously, okay, you know, I live, you know, in the Berg in a little gated community and stuff like that. And I always see like all kinds of like little animals. Yesterday, I was walking out of my house, right? Going to my car 
and I saw a bald eagle. Like a big, like it was bigger than me. I, no, for real. Like he was swooping down from wherever he was and he was coming right at me and I saw his face and I was like, oh, and I jumped in my little car and thank God Bellagio was inside because he would have like ate my little Bellagio. I was like, what was that about? So then you know, because I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm like, well, that gotta mean something. <laughs> So, so, so I called my mom. <laughs> to try to get organized, which was your first mistake. I tried on four or five different black outfits. Oh my goodness. I can't fit anything else right now. But give me a few, you know, episodes and I'm going to be TV fly. <laughs> now I know what you have to do. Girl, I think you look cute right now. Well, you know. <laughs> What are, you, I mean, what are you wearing? A little this and a little that. We're not going to worry about all that. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought I was a lot slimmer, but this TV is like uh, the girl from, your girlfriend from high school, your friend of me that hated you. It tells you all the truth you don't want to hear. Ooh! Thank you, TV. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it was like a little shady up in here. But um, anyways, Jesus. I think you look fan super tastic. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. And you know me, I'm a big fan. I was just know. fishing for a compliment anyway, you know me. <laughs> I'm a big fan of it, and then I'll just hang out. <clears throat> well, but, okay. <laughs> well, well, it's here, it's hanging out, so what's next? <laughs> Listen, okay, so I know we, we've worked together and we've done a couple things, and um, but I, uh, you recently have done a lot of feature segments uh, yes. for the Jorge Show. Yes, And yes. girl, People are gagging for you. Well, for, they're coming. And that's the team right there. They're coming for me. I don't know. They what, are coming for your wig, girl. Yes, I don't know what. I don't know why. Because you're cute like that. They I, need to find their lives. Yeah, I think it was because you know they saw that picture of, of you and Anderson Cooper. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know why you was trying to get all up in that. Well, you know, I love Anderson. Uh, yep. So when I saw him, him <laughs> being the silver fox that he is, Anderson Cooper, this is like community TV, but if you're watching, the offer still stands. Oh, oh, he's got a... You... Well, he told me that he doesn't really like fish. <laughs> oh. You know, but you know... That, that's understandable. That's okay. Himself. Everybody <laughs> can't jump into a mermaid con um, con <laughs> costume like my boy. <laughs> You know, so he doesn't like fish, but that's okay, you know. I would still hang with him. Kathy Griffin needs to sit down somewhere. You First know what? Of all, okay, I'm not she's coming for my dude. I came for him way before she was trying to check for his penis and all that stuff she's been doing in the blogs this week. She's so like D list yesterday. <laughs> well, and if all of you I love her though. <laughs> I love you, Kathy. And if all of you aren't drinking, then you, you should have been drinking it like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, have a drink every time I say fire crotch or Kathy Griffin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, listen, I, I know you cutting up and everything like that. Yes. So, yes, yes. But yes. I know you are a serious, you know, lady. Because I just don't be hanging out with, well, you know, with ladies who just be, you know, just being all cray cray. Well, well, the thing is, I have such an intense job. I, I have to be serious. I have to listen the whole time, really get into it, into in other people's problems to help facilitate a change. That sounds like a relationship. It is every time. <laughs> it's like, whew, Ooh, Lord. when I finish, but it's worth it because, you know, families come together. But it's so serious that I'm glad I get a chance to come here and cut well, up and cool. put on some boots. I figure I put these know. boots on, you know, maybe if nothing else, we can catch us a freak who will like watch it 20 times and post on YouTube. Oh, we're all, you know what? These boots Those bring them out. Those are the best they bring kind them out. of viewers. Because <laughs> seriously, like. Stalker viewers. I like, to all stalker my viewers? stalker viewers, <laughs> please call in to 813-977-6800. We would love to hear from you. <laughs> and that's true. That's later on in the show for last call, because, you know, it's the happy hour theme, mm -hmm. you know. But the thing is, I really admire you because you do have such an intense super serious job and what you do yes. at the end of the day ends up being rewarding to every single person and if you don't know if you don't know um and i've said this before uh indiana is a supreme court mediator and so she gets 
you know, involved in some really serious things. But then, like, she turns around and blows up by Wonder Woman, and she's all fierce like this. Yes, yes. That is cute. I love these Cinderella, Cinderella Fabulous or That's whatever. awesome. Well, I know we have a lot of other things to talk about yes. because um, I, I called you today. I was like, hey, girl, are you going to be ready? Do you want to stop by? You're like, sure. And then you went off on a tangent on the phone. And I, I was did. like, I just called to say hi. And you're like, well, and this girl and then this dude and these people or whatever. But we're going to get into the kiki like a little bit later with that. But um, like earlier I talked, you went to Zen Bistro. Yes, and with Roxy. Roxy. Yes, yes. yes. They have a great thing going up on it. Then it really is, and I'm a, I'm really funny about sushi, even <laughs> more funny than Anderson Cooper, you know. Um, and they have excellent, fresh, fresh sushi. Well, Roxy and is drinks. so cool because like she always is on top of like, you know, the it thing. And so um, after you went, then I went. Uh, because I, I saw what they did. They were blowing that thing up with the torch and everything did like that. Did you see that? That, that was, was like really cool. And it tasted like really, 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 really good. good. Really good. And it's, really good. we have a clip. We have a clip of Indiana uh, when she went to Zen Bistro. And uh, it's, I remember when, uh, and she's still modeling. I mean, she's modeling. She's like running restaurants and all their marketing and stuff like that. She is a catch. And that guy who she's dating, if he didn't get a ring. Ooh, he better put a ring on uh, it. He better put a ring on it. That's all I got to say. I mean, that's, I mean, if you're gonna make it, if you make, yeah. Yeah. Don't be cutting up. You gotta put a ring on it if you wanna get a crack it like Yeah, <laughs> don't make her call her daddy. <laughs> or her yeah, mama. You don't, oh, you don't wanna deal with her daddy. Nobody wants to deal with anybody's daddy. You don't wanna deal with my daddy. My daddy still doesn't button up his shirt. Uh, ooh. <laughs> that's serious, y'all. Yes, with gold chains. <laughs> And everything. <laughs> I love you, Pops. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for more information, you can always go to thehoreshow.com. Don't forget, you can tweet at the Horry Show. Family. I mean, the website is going to be able to do a lot of really fun stuff. And next week, I'm going to tell everybody about another little surprise development. Oh, yeah. You know, it's going to be cute. I don't know anybody in the area that has what we're going to be getting next week. Oh. So it's going to be like really, really cute. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and we'll run the clip um, where your visit to Zen Bistro, and then we'll come back and wrap up um, with all that drama-ness you want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a good plan. <laughs> it's the happy and hour. Or or Bistro Bistro International Plaza, and it's happy hour on the Jorge Show. <laughs> Jalapeno, pineapple, infused vodka. Wow. We make a great drink out of that. And then 
our signature uh, lychee martini. A lot of Asian places have the lychee, mm -hmm. so we infuse the vodka with the lychee and make an amazing martini. Well, you'll get a little bit of spicy, wow. with a little bit of sweet. <laughs> Caliente, I'm working on my Spanish. Woo! <laughs> I'm so glad that this show is the happy hour because I love uh, being happy mm -hmm. for more than an hour, though. <laughs> but wow, I get to do this all the time. Life is sweet. That's divine. So I am just dying to see what you have to make for me back there. I was supposed to bring Jorge. He wiggled out of it. Somehow, every time there's something with food, he sends my fat ass, <laughs> and he's nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, he's losing weight. I can see that. <laughs> and I'm drinking leche martinis. But since I've gone in already, bring the sushi. phenomenal but I need to wrap it up a because I hear there's a DJ here and I want to trip the light fantastic and B I don't know if she wants to charge me I want to get out of here before the bill comes <laughs> Okay, I want to say before we go any further, I want to do a very super special thank you because this would not uh, be possible if it weren't for the lovely and wonderful staff here at the TBCN uh, Communication or uh, Media Center uh, right here at Temple Floor. You know, people should appreciate this because uh, this isn't available to everyone, you know, so uh, I, the Bay Area has it going on. There are no other, uh, area, you know, at least places in Florida that you can actually, you know, if you ever wanted to produce, you know, your own show or Thank get involved God. in media production. It's never been available to us. So maybe they don't need That's to what I'm saying. Like Seriously, they don't do this in Miami. They don't Could do you imagine the chai cha and the chicken? <laughs> you can't do this everywhere. They don't do this in Orlando. I mean, they have a... Mickey Mouse, okay. Right? You know, seriously, so it's really, really, really cool because it's like it makes it possible for you to actually be creative and do things. And um, it, that's freedom of speech, so don't even try that. <coughs> okay? Anyways, um, so we are going to kiki because... Again, like I said earlier, you know, Indiana just went off on the phone earlier. Mm -hmm. She had all kinds of things to say about all kinds of people. But um, I want to start by kicking about one of my homegirls, okay? okay? Now, you know I believe in the Trinity, and that's the Trinity of, you know, you have Madonna, Janet, J-Lo. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like the way things work for me. Uh-huh. So, but I'm talking about Miss Janet. She's going to get married. Miss Jackson. Yes. Well, to no, you. She's going to be Miss, I can't say all that, but it's complicated. I just want to know, where do you find, no, serious. No, I'm, no, I'm talking like, about I'm real not, talk. You know what, I'm happy for her. There's a picture. Do we have that picture of Janet and her man? Right? We do. We have that picture. Where do you find a man that looks that good with that much money? You riddle me that. Well, Janet found him. Riddle me that. Where? <laughs> Where? Is he in the same hole with Jermaine Dupri? Uh, like, really? I don't, no, I just, he's, I just want to know where she's from. He's a lot taller than Jermaine Dupri. That's and has a lot more money than Jermaine Dupri. Yeah, so like she went from this to that. I don't know how she... Well, the other thing that. is, you know, a lot of times, you know, Janet is always like real like secret secret. I saw that and I'm like... You called me, and then you don't even talk about Miss Janet. I'm like, girl. I'm like, for real. Well, I was saving Miss. You know, well, <laughs> one. There's a little jealousy going on right there. Oh. Cause I mean, Miss. 
Well, I saw the article. Uh, You've seen the picture of him, right? Yeah, I, yeah, well, it renders me speechless. Well, because I follow Janet on Twitter, and so she t- <laughs> she tweeted a picture of her. It was so. It was like the, it must have been cold. I think they were in New York, and they were like, "Ah, oh, look at us. We look like really cute." But apparently, like she has like this like million dollar ring or a couple millions of dollars. I don't know, um, but she doesn't wear it because she's afraid she's gonna lose it. And I don't know. This is a girl, but you know what? This is a girl who wore a key in her earring because apparently, like, you know, so she wouldn't, she had to feed the animals. You know, so I can see why she could probably lose her ring. I lose stuff every day. I lost my cue cards earlier today. They were in my hand, and then, like, I don't know I what saw happened. Janet Jackson one year, and Janet, you know, you remember this. If, I know she's watching. <laughs> I know she's watching. She was dressed up as Minnie Mouse. And Aww. it was when she first started to date Jermaine Dupri, and he was oh. Mickey Mouse. Oh. And he looks so well and went cold. He was so Aww. well. Well, you know, good for her. She looks happy. Mm-hmm. She looks great. But I like Janet anyway. I like her when she's chunky, not chunky, churring, not churring. I mean, whatever. Yeah, that's what you told me. And then I'm here on camera like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, look right? at you. Oh, Indiana, we can go to dinner. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and now <laughs> I look like I'm like 200 pounds. I'm like, we'll talk oh, about girl, that later. Ain't nobody looking at you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so that's my thing. Um, also, I, I said, you know what, like, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't even roll like that. I could really care less, but I have to admit, I have to admit, and you can hate me all you want, but sometimes I get stuck watching the Kardashians. I don't know why. I don't. I don't, I don't really watch I don't. that much television anyway. I, I just, don't. I really don't. Like, I don't. actually, you know what, I watch a lot of... Um, like Nancy Gray, <laughs> all, all the murder I mean, mystery I stuff. I watch that. a lot of that. Yeah, I watch my Saturday cool. morning cartoons. My husband can tell you that's exactly what I watch. So, in case y'all are tripping. But every now and then, like, I'll like, catch a clip and I don't know what it is. I don't either. Right? But now. They don't do it for me. She's having a baby with Kanye West. <laughs> that's cute. And. <laughs> Um, so Jay-Z and Beyonce have little blue ivy. They tried to get it trademarked. It didn't work because there was already a oh. catering service called Blue Ivy. Sit down, Jigga. You can't have everything. Oh. But I'm wondering uh-huh. if they're going to name this little baby Poison Ivy. <laughs> poison what? Ivy. Oh. Blue Ivy, Poison Ivy. You can tell she's coming for Beyonce's wig. You like, think? She wants to, like... She's so unoriginal. Yeah, but I Kim mean, you know, the thing Dashian, is... Kim Kardashian, who says that? Who named... I don't even like it. <laughs> well, apparently, you know, Kanye West is like all, all over that. Well, you know, I've heard from a very reliable source that Kanye has what it takes to make a baby. Oh. But do you think, though, like, but, like on the for real, for real, like, because Kanye West, okay, whatever you think about him, you know, he's... He's uber a talented. He's a genius. That's what I'm saying. Like he's, he's uber talented. Yeah. Like he knows what the T is, right? Yeah. So he's got some real creative and you know integrity and influence and all that. Do you really think like hooking up with um, Miss Thing over there, I Kim mean, K, is gonna kind of like people are gonna be like, oh no, he didn't. You you can't you can't stun on genius. You know, and you can't be mad at him because he likes a big booty. I mean, at the end of the day, she looks good. She does. I'm I just don't watch the show, but right. it's not because she's not official. Right. I just don't have to eat all that Kardashian cake. I have other things to do right. than to eat all that cake that they want to serve up cake, all day. Cake, 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 It's cake. not my birthday. It ain't even my birthday. Right. But you I'm know, but you know who the real birthday. genius is, though, seriously, behind all that is her mother. Yes. I like her. I think she's a freak. I wouldn't want to mess with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's the real deal. Anyways, enough about them because this okay, show is not next. about them. Next. <laughs> um, you also mentioned something um, about something about Kobe, and I thought oh, you were talking about I'll, steak. N- okay, this because I don't really follow sports. Oh uh, no, no, I'm talking about Kobe Bryant. So okay, uh, what does he? Okay, what does is, he do? This is what he's a basketball <gasps> player. Oh, Laker. That's right. Did he have an issue? Like, yeah, he got caught cheating. He had to uh, buy like a five million dollar carrot ring oh. to make up. Oh, so then if you, if you cheat, then you get a ring. I thought you get a ring and you don't. Well, cheat. he was trying to keep her because if if you know if not, they're going to be coming to see me. 
you know, and they're going to have to try to do some equitable distribution of well, assets. Well, you should have had them put you, like, on retainer. Well, they're all the way in Cali. Well, so? I mean, whatever. Well, you know, I don't like coffee. But the, I, I take this money. But my, let me tell you what I, was, what I was pissy about this morning. Vanessa, who is his wife, uh -huh. she is very upset about a song that was done by Drake, you know, the rapper Drake. Right now, why is he always like getting fights with people? Oh, and I just found out that he was on some like little television show, like, um, you know, like in high school kind of thing. Very yes, square pegs for was. like, he I was. didn't know that. Yeah, he, was was like, on oh. he was on Nickelodeon first. But, Nickelodeon. but he wrote a song that said, you know, Kobe's going to have to um, leave Vanessa and he's going to have to pay 50 M's, but you wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym. Oh my God. So she was very, very upset about that and, and said that Drake apologized to her. But my point is, baby Drake, don't never tr apologize for the truth. Now I know your mama told you that. <laughs> the truth will set you free. That is true. It will. Yeah. Okay. Well, the other thing is... And um, she wasn't with him when he was shooting in the gym. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'm I saying. mean... You know? Well, I don't know if you guys got all of that, but I just know that I, I remember you mentioning that, so I wanted to bring it up. But I, what I want to bring up is um, something that's very, very, very close to all of us here in the Tampa Bay area. What's that? Hulk Hogan was in the news. Uh-oh, I yes. know that. Uh -huh. Again? Yeah. He missed his money with the Foreman Grill? He's like refiling his lawsuit or something like that. You know, I saw him actually, um, I was at Neiman Marcus with my mom like three or four weeks ago, and we're just, you know, I see him all the time. walking out. I was with you. Oh, that's right, you were with me. Yeah, you were at the Gucci store, remember? I'm yeah, sure it's there. blurry. Yeah. <laughs> Too many drinks at the Gucci store. Yeah, don't do that. You get into a lot of trouble when you do that. Yeah, that's, that's real dirty. But we were walking out, and then, you know, so I didn't want to be like, oh my God, look at me. Whatever, whatever. Were you I, a Hulkamaniac when you were a kid? You know, I did watch that. At fr it was a Friday night like main event or something like that, and I would always watch it and like, yeah. I mean, because I you always, like, yeah, huh? yeah, well, I always like it when the good guys win. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was when I was a little kid. But were I was you like, all, yeah, Hulk? Were you like, yeah, Hulk? No, like when I was a kid, I was like, yeah, Hulk, because I was a kid. But now yeah. I'm like, hey, Hulk. <laughs> That's what I to get down but there. actually, he was walking, and you know, like, you know, sometimes people don't like, or celebrities just kind of need a break. I mean, I feel the same way too sometimes. I'm trying to go somewhere, and it's like, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, beep, beep, da da da. So, you know, I can kind of understand you. like a little bit, you know, on a very minute, very like fake Facebook kind of level. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just kind of like did that, like, that tough, like, not like, you know, whatever. And he kind of did that, and and now he was back in the news today. He had a, you know, he made. And I, you brought that up only because he was from Tampa, because he's not really relevant anymore. Oh my goodness. No, I love like, the host. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want him to, I wish he would have got the Foreman Grill instead of George. Oh. That's how much I love him. Yeah. Oh, well, that I was really a bad like manager. That was, <laughs> uh, but you never really know. I mean, because I, I mean, George is cool, especially. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not hating on George. I just said, you know, I wish the Hulk, I was a Hulkamaniac. I had a yellow boa. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a boa, but it wasn't that color. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something funny, too. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I, I'm a big Madonna fan. No. <laughs> you only tweeted her manager all the way from a Tampa to Atlanta. I sure did. Until they put you ringside. Yes. It Who was does that? That's nuts. Well, you know, okay. I mean, it worked, but it's. Anytime you know. me and my cousin Claudia get together, it's. Mania. It's, it's, the world needs to, like, watch out because it's kind of like. Doo -doo -doo. I bet he was like, just tell these, give these, <laughs> some, these MFs some tickets or something. They we had a plan, and I said, look, we're going, and this is going to go down like this. He was really cool. He was really is cool. He hot? Um, I don't know about all that. I'm just saying he was really cool. And, um, you know, we, I mean, she was, like, right there, right in front of me. It was amazing. I have to say something about Madonna. I know this is going to hurt your feelings. No. I'm going to say it with a couple minutes to go because oh. I don't want to oh. have to feel the heat. <laughs> She's trying too hard lately. She's Madonna. She just needs to be Madonna, own it. She doesn't have to make friends with none of these little girls, Molly <laughs> or Nikki or anybody. Oh, right. Well, you know. This she is can just thing. stand there and vogue. You know, she don't have to That's do too true. much. Like, all this extra Madonna. Right. 
I'm just going to need you to be auntie and just like look at them and say, okay, shoot my video with just a little <laughs> <I know. laughs> breeze in my hair with a stand and that's it because she can do that. Right, that's true. But you know, the other thing, I kind of think like, um, I think uh, because people like are kind of like egging her on a little bit. I just think she's doing it because it's funny. No. Although no. in the news and somebody posted, so. oh. Uh, hello, Oki Tylo. He's the uh, creative director over at uh, Square One and at the Ritz Theater. We're huge Madonna fans. And Rainbow Ricky, um, a, a local DJ. Um, they, they posted this on my Facebook page. <laughs> like, I don't allow a lot of things on my Facebook page, but it's about, if it's about Madonna or something like that. And uh, they were, ooh, yeah, they were throwing shade about, like, you know, her tour is not selling and stuff. Uh, you know, America, and or it's like two for, it's like happy hour, it's like two for ones and two all that kind of stuff. And, stuff, yeah. and, uh, and Madonna's tour, of course, was like totally sold out. I'm just saying. I, hey, I love Madonna. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I'm just saying I love her so much. I don't want her to have to put on. I want her to sit there and be the queen Madonna that she is and all her regalness. That's true, because I, I will say, like, during her concert, I was like, oh my Didn't God. did you like, get dizzy? Like, I was, ex I'm like, I oh my, was I, I, I thought I just went to the gym, worked out, and I was pumped. I'm like, woo! I mean, but it's amazing what she does. That's it's crazy. That's my point. I she's, love it. She's having, like, old guys drop dead left and right at concerts, <laughs> trying, just trying to keep <laughs> up. <laughs> Just Listen. trying to keep up. <laughs> You're going to be able to call in and kiki with us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, okay, uh, it'll be last call. Okay, now I know, I know, I know. You're like, what in the world is this going on? This train wreck. It, yeah, it's like, but you know what? It's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. Yeah, the wreck is going to be even bigger and better next time. Because that's what it is. I mean, seriously, what else are you doing? <laughs> and I'm going to be TV fly. And she's going to be TV fly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep track of The Hori Show online at www.thehoryshow.com because we're going to be posting like our really cool things and like you'll be able to like win prizes and, you know, special little treats for all of you out there. Uh, don't forget, you call into the show. So we're going to roll the intro one more time just so that way you can kind of get a nice flow, go get something to drink, and then get on your phones and we'll hear from you when we get back. I can't believe they let us on TV <laughs> for <Right>. one. <laughs> and this is what you get. That's what you got. That's what you got. This That's is what they get. Well, well you know, it, 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 it's funny um, because... I don't feel sorry. You don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for any of the viewers. You get this, and you get this, and that's take that. You watching cable now? Okay. Take it. Well, well you know what happened is, you know, I, I just thought it would be like something like really fun to do. And I'm... Um, and so I just was doing it like pretty much like on my own, messing around. And I was like, you know, maybe I could like make this happen like on another level. All right. Ooh, the phone is. Girl, oh my goodness. Oh my God, I call her. You don't know how to answer? No. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi, you're calling the Jorge Show's Tampa Bay News Happy Hour. I'm loving watching you guys. You're great. <laughs> Where's the merman? Where'd he go? Uh, the merman, um, well, he was the special guest. I don't know where he is. He's probably swimming with the mermaids. That was a pretty cool video. I loved watching that. Yeah. Um, so, listen, um, thank you for calling into the show. Um, was there anything that you had to say or wanted to mention? Or is someone having a birthday? Or did you just break up with somebody and looking for somebody else? 
<laughs> no, I was breaking up. <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. Okay. And, and what is your name? What is your name? If you want to state your name. Michael. Hi, Michael. Um, I'm Jorge, and this is Indiana with a Y. Hey, hi. <laughs> um, I have a question. So, um, Michael, are you single? Yes, I am. Oh, cool. Do you like chocolate? Love chocolate. Oh, Godiva chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All chocolate. Um, so, um, how do you um, feel about dating? Um, well, trying to meet someone is pretty difficult. Why? I mean, you sound like you're cute. Well, you, <laughs> we all sound cute, don't we? <laughs> or at last call. Oh, yeah, at last call, everybody's cute. <laughs> <laughs> And the lights are on. Oh, the house lights. Prince calling the ugly lights. Um, but I'm saying, like, you know, it's Friday night. You know, we're like, ooh, happy hour is about to be over. And we're going to go hit it. So, like, I mean, I'm, I mean, do you have a hot date tonight? Or do you ever date? <laughs> what do you do on Friday nights? That's what I want to know. I'm going to a yogurt shop. Oh. You, oh. I thought you liked chocolate. That's cute. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why oh, I asked you was because um, I was talking to Indiana earlier today. Again, okay, we're always talking. And um, she asked me about like speed dating, and I'm like, I don't know anything about speed dating. I just thought, I just think like people show up at a restaurant and there's a whole bunch of table with numbers and there's like an alarm. And you know, well, that's what I, I thought. I do speed dating. Do you like speed dating? Absolutely. Oh, oh really? It's different though. It's what? My version of speed dating is a little bit different. Oh, tell us. Oh, what's your version of speed dating? Give me tutto. Okay, my version of speed dating, I set my date up a half hour before the restaurant's gonna close. So I know I can be out of that date in 30 minutes. That's I <laughs> like that. A man after my own heart. Wait, hold on. All right. You That's said your version of speed dating is you set up the date 30 minutes before the restaurant or the place closes, so that way you can get out. <laughs> get in and out. If it's not working, I know that I'm only there for another 20 something minutes. <laughs> I, oh my I goodness. Oh my God. Like you know it. what? I think Michael is treating us like a date. He called in at the last call. He's like, oh, good. This show's only going to be mm -hmm. on for like, what, another, what, minute? <laughs> 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 well, thank you, Michael, for calling in. Make sure you watch us every Friday night at 7. I'll be there. All right. Thank you. Have a great night. Take care. Bye bye. That was great. <laughs> I've, I've never done that before. I felt, I felt like very good morning, America. I like feel <laughs> Donahue. Like, did he have Collins? <laughs> Indiana, thank you so much for being here tonight. Oh, my pleasure. My it's pleasure. a wrap. It's That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much. Thank and you. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, we'll, we'll be back on tomorrow morning. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> it's over, gone, done. <laughs>